So in this video we'll cover how to tag animals and also we're going to cover on why we would tag animals. So first click on the images and videos tab, click on my images. So this is where all your images are stored from all your cameras that are out. It's pretty much just a gallery of all your photos. So first let's cover on how to tag a buck. So you'll see right here we have a few pictures of this buck. So to tag this buck, what we'll do is we'll check the box right here on the image and we'll click on all the pictures that he's in. So that covers all of his pictures right here. So to create a tag for this guy, we come over here to edit where it says change tag to. And you'll type in what you want to call him. So if you wanted to call him young eight, you'll see where it says new. You're creating a new tag, young eight. So you click on that and you'll assign him a category. So it's a deer and it's antler. You hit okay. So now this guy is tagged as young eight. Now actually I do have a tag already made for this deer and we call him freak accident. And so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and check him again and I'm gonna change actually back to freak accident. And so now we have him tagged as freak accident. I changed him back to freak accident so that I could show you later on how to use tags on patterning and activity charts. Next, let's just say you want to pattern a hog. So you see right here we have four pictures of this hog. So we'll check box these four images. We'll change the tag to, let's say, Big Nasty. So we're creating a new tag. Now he's not a deer, so we'll go ahead and drop down, click hog, okay. So now this guy is big nasty and he's been tagged. So now that we've created a tag for big nasty, we can come down through our photos and select wherever we see where he showed up. So you'll see he's right here at the feeder. We'll select him. I'm not gonna go through and select them all, just for demonstration purposes. We have these selected. Now notice you'll see right here, he's counted as a deer and right here he's counted as an other. But when I change this tag to Big Nasty, it automatically changes it to a hog because of the tag. So let me just show you right quick. If you see right here where it says tag assign, it's right under trash. Click on that and you'll see all your tags. So tag assign is where you'll edit all your tags. So let's say you created a tag and you meant for it to be a turkey and not a hog. So let's say Big Nasty was a turkey. You'll just hit this X come right here click on big nasty and now it knows it as a turkey and you just hit the little save button now we know big nasty is a hog so let's change him back hit save so just to clarify if you tag any animal as one of these tags this is the species it will change it to automatically that's what tag assign is so now I'll show you how to pattern animals based on their tags and their activity so click on the activity tab and this will bring up all your activity charts so right now this is all our deer charts from all our cameras from all our tags. Let's narrow this down by tag and select freak accident. So as I said earlier this is a deer that I've already went through and, and tagged. So he's already in our account and we've been patterning him all season. So now that we're under freak accident we can kind of look at our charts and graphs that it created for that specific tag. So you can see the temperature at which he's been moving. You can see by wind direction, you have a north wind and a south wind is when he's moving the most. But when we have an east wind and a west wind, he's not coming out as much. Over here you can see what camera he's showing up on most. As you can see, he showed up on Magnolia 318 times as opposed to cut over 28 times. So here's our daily activity chart. As you can see, January 22nd he showed up 26 times and on the 24th he showed up 48 times. but on the 23rd he didn't show up and below you can see by month in November we have 20 pictures of him in December we had 35 and then in January he really started showing up and we have 291 pictures of him you can also patterning by wind speed when we have a six mile per hour wind you have 40 pictures of him it dips down as that wind increases you can also do this for moon phase and barometric pressure. 
So this is how you would use your tags. You can pattern deer, hogs, turkeys. You could tag anything you'd like. If we wanted to see our big nasty, we'll go to hog, click on big nasty. Now here's our activity for him. So use this tool and let hunt control start patterning that big buck for you so you'll know when and where to be and all you got to do is be there. 